Good afternoon and welcome back to Chicago. We are here at KubeCon and CloudNativeCon, the Cloud Native Foundation's largest North American event. My name is Savannah Peterson, joined by my co-host John Furrier. Afternoon, day one, how yep. you feeling? Great, great lunch, as always, the sandwiches. Great lunch, love it, shout out for the sandwiches here. <laughs> okay, it's, yeah. it's, it's an inside joke, but everyone knows KubeCon. They, they, they do a good job getting the factory going, but uh, yeah. the energy's here, it's packed Savannah. This is again, the innovation's here, and it's so exciting to have all these great smart people here with us. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling the energy, I'm juiced. I'm very excited about this next conversation. And before we even get into the tech portion of this, we're here with Oded. You're our first Israeli company yep. of the show. How are you doing emotionally? How's the team holding up? Well, first of all, we're very proud to be here, all right? Uh, very proud to, uh, to show you know, the, the way that Israeli companies are reacting to, the, to this very sad situation we're at. Uh, we're here, we're active. The business continuity also, not, not just for Achilles, for the entire Israeli companies coming here from Tel Aviv, and we have lots of those. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's touching, it's exciting to see the yeah. spirit, although everything is happening. Surely at the first uh, beginning of, you know, after the sad um, of 7th of October, there was a, a few days of, of serious shock. By the way, part of our employees and part of other employees were called on duty. But we're here basically also to say that we, we continue, we continue to serve, we continue to be here as part of the industry and to think about the days after the war. Yeah. But um, yeah, with that, please. Yeah, well I, I really appreciate that, thanks for sharing. And the entrepreneurial culture shines through and we're with you on that. Yeah, the way. well the culture of the Israeli spirit is something you know that I'm sure that uh, being uh, in the industry you've met all of those you know different companies coming yeah. from Israel. It's coming that way, we, we bring that and we breathe that whenever we are you know very uh, yeah. early on our childhood, right? Uh, to get up on our feet, always improvise, always react, always be positive to what's going on. Um, is despite you know the very sad or oh, horror things that are happening uh, and all the political situation around it, obviously. Yeah, we appreciate you. Well, you guys are doing, continuing to do your business. Congratulations. Love the shirt, by the way. Love the logo. All right, a thank you. Big fan of swag here in the cube. Uh, you guys got a really cool solution. What's going on here at KubeCon? Tell us what's going on in your, in your business right now. Well, obviously, you know, we see great, uh, we, we see great people here and great companies that are uh, interested, and uh, we're here to serve. Uh, the guys that are interested around secrets management. Uh, so this is what we came to speak about and to basically communicate our voltless approach. So um, uh, voltless, by the way, just to get you uh, within it and what's special on that. And you've mentioned our name, you've mentioned our logo. Achilles is basically a shortened for Achilles encryption. Something from the cybersecurity world, right? Uh, but we basically started five years ago with a great technology called DFC, our distributed fragments photography from the world of security and we've built that into a SaaS service to combine a voltless approach. What does this mean? Uh, we basically created a third generation for a solution within the realm of secrets management, where secrets are sprawled away the environments. In the last few years, we've had more and more of those credential certificates and keys that sprawl within DevOps uh, platforms, within configuration yeah. files, yeah. and all of those. Uh, and it happens to be that the majority of solutions were basically self-managed, very hard to deploy, very yeah. hard to maintain, and also hard to scale. And this is where we understood that we can combine our technology to perform encryption in a very special way, in a secure way, in a zero knowledge way, that we cannot basically decrypt the secrets of our customers. This is what allows us to provide a SaaS service so having secret service, uh, secrets management as a service yeah. to our customers. It's the secret service, it's the secret service. Indeed, wow, indeed. wow, John, wow, indeed. 10 out of 10 for the know, pun. Yeah. Killing the game here in the afternoon. Someone had their coffee. I'm bringing my A game yeah, today. Yeah. No, so let's get into the problem <laughs> solving. We all, I get the sprawl factor, okay. Attack surface areas there. What's the key problem that you guys are solving? Is it the sprawl of too many secrets laying around? Managing of secrets? Is it so, a technical problem? What is the so, space? All right. So going back, first of all, yes, secret sprawl. You know, out of the bat, this is this is basically where we're at. All right. Now it's important to understand that obviously credential certificates, keys, they've been they've been here for a while, right? It's here for years. If you go for a cybersecurity uh, convention, right, a conference, you'll hear it more and more and more. It's like old old news. That said, the last few years, what we are seeing is that within seven to 10 years, we're seeing basically uh, within the cloud world, within the DevOps world, right, we see a rise in the number of machines, automated processes, right, Kubernetes yeah. pods, right? We see all of that happening, automated processes, uh, virtual machines, whatever you like, all right, and obviously, 
auto uh, automated processes within the platform, within the DevOps platform, and provisioning, infrastructure as code, all of those different types, basically, yeah. they operate with credentials. Now, when break of the monolith happens, back in the days, well, it's seven years and it sounds like in history, right? Basically, it means that every component that now basically combines to an, 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 a whole application, each and every one of those components, microservices, microfunctions, if you'd like, they need to communicate with each other and they need to do so using lots of those secrets, credentials, certificates, and keys. So this is where you get a big boom or a rise in the number of machines and the number of secrets, hence the secrets role, and hence, bottom line, is the number of actual breaches that happen happen with those credential certificates and keys. That's it. This is the main problem that happens and this is why secrets management have been created. Who's the buyer? Who's the user? Is it the platform engineering manager? Is it the, uh, and who's the user? What's the buyer user relationship? So, so we see both. So we see both of them. We yeah. see the platform and we see also the security. This is one of the good yeah. places where we see great cooperation happens between the platform guys, the SRE, the DevOps guys, also with their security, the application security, SecOps, DevSecOps, all of those all together, they go hand in hand yeah. because at yeah. the end of the day having that to be a security infrastructure, then the, the check payer is, um, you know, eventually the one who signs the checks are the security guys, yeah. right? So this is where, where we find again and again and again. Vaultless seems to be a bit of a game changer in the space uh, and, and imperative for enterprise. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, of course. So just as provided as a sneak peek three minutes ago, now we can go even dive yeah, into let's that. Dive in. DFC is the technology we started with, which stands for Distributed Fragments Cryptography, right? Sounds frightening for the ones that are not be familiar with cryptography, that's fine, but to, to describe it in very simple words, Achilles has the ability to perform cryptographic operations using fragments of encryption keys without ever combining them. We wow. have those fragments on different cloud providers, for that sense, from different Pretty reasons impressive. cloud providers, and during the encryption itself, the encryption itself does not ask for those fragments to be combined whatsoever, all right? This is why we call it Achilles encryption, right? Yeah. Now, using that model, uh, which is again a patented technology of ours, this, using that model, we also have the ability to have another fragment on the customer side. That means that whatever has been encrypted by Achilles, passwords, signed certificates that we sign with a cryptographic key, whenever we're done with that, we don't have the ability to basically decrypt the customer's secrets, right? Because right. they keep it within our SaaS, and that's the combination of our DFC with a SaaS service that is available all around the world, right? With four nice availability, you can find it with every region that you'd like, no deployment required, you're just signing up to the website and you're enjoying the vaultless approach, a vault from the very first moment all around. So one of the things that's Impressive. come up here at Cloud Native Con and KubeCon is dynamic um, secrets. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. machines talking to machines. We're going to see a lot more AI coming. Yeah. Um, pipelines, data pipelines are emerging. Data engineering's coming here. Models talking to each other. It's gonna, this is not going away. Some sort of management of identification, password, certificates, but automatically generating keys yes. and secrets is a huge issue. Yes. What stands up, How, when do you tear it down, what, what do you guys do there? So, for the, for the ones who do know the security realm, even before the days of DevOps, if, if you can call it this way, to speak about dynamic credentials and the ability to have just-in-time access, that has been, again, a known notion that unfortunately the security uh, industry was not very able to, to do or to implement because mostly the environment were fixed, they were static. The great news about cloud, and I wish that you hear it, and, and I guess that you hear it again and again and again, right? Everything is dynamic, everything is ephemeral by nature. That means that whenever you have a community spot, mm -hmm. right, spins up, mm -hmm. like a container that spins up, then basically the resources are being used for a certain amount of time, and then they are being released. Now, combining it with the need of security to actually have those identities to be created upon usage, upon yeah. need, and also to be released, right? It's also res resources are being released, but also the security resource, the permission can be released. Combining all, all together, that enabled a new conversation with the realm of just-in-time access, temporary credentials, dynamic secrets, whatever you call it, it's the same name, but the whole thing, and the great beauty of it, by the way, is that at the end of the day, at the end of the year, when an auditor comes up and they ask, all right, show me your database. 
show me the credentials that you have, the amount of identities they have on your, on your database. Yeah. And they, they are actually surprised to see that there are quite few. And they're saying, the auditors are saying, how is that? How did that happen? And then the explanation is because permissions and identities are created whenever they're being used and released. So you guys do support that feature? Of course, we support that. We support also something that you might not find uh, that wide on any other Vault solution, which is the wide variety of rotated secrets that we provide. You can basically rotate not just Windows machines, uh, not just Linux machines, but also of the newer world, right? You can basically rotate also API keys. We provided a custom rotation function, so you can basically do whatever you need in terms of rotating, creating dynamic credentials. We also have custom provider for that. Um, and yeah, that's it. We, you're able to, you, you mentioned just in time, so also with creating temporary certificates, so we act as certificate authority. We provide also encryption keys management and so on. Oh, Jed, tell me, tell me about your customer environment, the partnerships you might have to explain to what you bring to the table, and what would, what would they say about you when they use your product? What are some of the things that would they tell you about the accolades you're getting? Um, what does it change in their world? Right. Obviously, the obvious one is obviously more yeah, security. Yeah, brag a little bit for us. It's more it's security, but right, like, what are some of the things? Right, don't push me too much, but listen, to be very clear and open and very simple in words, our customers are saying that we're the number one alternative for HashiCorp Vault. This is what they're saying, I'm quoting, right? Why do they say that when you ask them? It's a wider functionality, it's an enhanced security, right? Much easier to deploy, much easier to work with given a, a SaaS nature, right? And at the bottom line, we provide 70% reduction on TCO compared to the competition. And this is what brings the customers to us. We find rip and replace projects, we find a lot of yeah. green fields, and we're very happy to do so. That's awesome. Who are you partnering with on this voyage? Sure, so for a long time, um, actually we've done very a lot of direct, but we do have some local partners in VARS, both in Europe, in the international market, and in the US. We recently added and been chosen by a strategic partner named Talis, right? Talis Security, known for their encryption keys management, data protection, and such. Latest, uh, later, uh, they've done also a, a great, great acquisition that is waiting for approval in, the, uh, in our very uh, adjacent areas, but, uh, bottom line, we have partnered with them. Thales are very proud and us also very excited for this partnership. They basically bring a keyless as part of their Cypher Trust secrets management, Cypher Trust platform. Uh, we're literally embedded there and you know, it goes hand in hand to provide a platform approach. Um, yeah, and this is how we do, this is how we do it. Right, well, it sounds like you do it with vigor and speed and ease, which is a great way to do it. Yeah. What's whatever, next? Whatever what are needed. you most excited about beyond? Can you give us a little window of in course. the future? So what we're very happy to have is something that we see more and more goes, you know, from you know, from our product and engineering comes uh, and and provides in a greater with time is our extensions. Uh, we understood quite, you know, quite from the beginning from our customers is that we have a great opportunity to serve them in what we call the last mile. Secrets management is very much an adjacent area to lots of other areas such as privileged access management, certificate automation, uh, key management, and also password management, right? The classic one with a mobile app, et cetera. So you're going to see more and more innovation coming up from Aculus. Some of it, the things that I've mentioned are already, already available such as our secure mode access Access, uh, offering. We have uh, at least one third of our customers to basically adopt uh, the secure mode access, which is a, a lighter PAM, a lighter privileged access management uh, solution. How do customers get involved? You mentioned a cloud service, that's awesome. So onboarding, just come in. What's the, take us through how they, how they engage with you. Right? Aculus.io, A-K-E-Y-L-E-S-S.io, sign up. They're on your shirt. Yeah. That's it, and you're done. Whenever you're signing up, you're you know, submitting your email, and from that very moment, you're enjoying a multi-cloud operation, uh, four nines of availability, 24 hours all around the globe. That's it, so easy you're to already get into. scaled. Easy to get into. Easy to get into, right? Right, you know, everything is well documented, everything is well explained, there are videos, tutorials, whatever you need. What's your secret sauce? The like secret that? sauce. Secret yeah, sauce? Yeah, yeah. So our secret <laughs> sauce is our DFC, by Sorry. the way, yeah, which yeah, I've already really provided to you, but yeah, <laughs> it is a secret. So you guys got some good technology, congratulations, and thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, Odette, I'm really impressed. I got one last little question for you, because we've Please. asked a few people. There's a couple dinosaurs out on the floor. Do you have a favorite dinosaur? <laughs> 
I would pledge for the fifth on that one. <laughs> <laughs> a secret favorite dinosaur. Wow. Okay, that was. This, this would. This is appropriate that you're that you're not going to incriminate I'm yourself. That you're keeping I'm your not own to secret. Secrets you're probably that keeping that yeah. secret somewhere vaultless. Of course. Yeah. Now I'm the one doing the puns. Oh, Dad, thank you so much for being here. From thank Achilles. you for having me, guys. We really appreciate it. All right. Our thoughts. Uh, I, I know I speak on behalf of the entire Cube team. Our thoughts are with yeah. you in Israel and thank with you your so team, much. and we yeah. really hope that this Thank you. I appreciate that. And all the name right. of Achilles and all other Israeli companies in this conference. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. May we end terrorism sooner rather than later. John Furrier, thanks so much for being my co-host. My name is Savannah Peterson. We're here in the wonderful, windy city of Chicago in Illinois at KubeCon and CNCF's Cloud NativeCon. Thank you so much for joining us here on theCUBE, the source for emerging tech news.